What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. Today we're gonna to be uh, wrapping the BMW M4 grills. Now I did have some carbon fiber grills on the front of the car. However, I took them off because I was really missing that uh, M badge right there, obviously. Paid a lot of money for the car and can't really not have that M badge. It's kind of blasphemy in my opinion to not have that on. I don't like debadging cars, especially when you're paying for the uh, the upper models, I don't know. If you like have a D-badge like 435, I get it. And then you have all the M body kit stuff on it. You're trying to make it look like an M4. I understand why those people D-badge them just to trick people. I kind of don't actually, but uh, yeah, I paid for the grills. So let's make them black here. Um, I picked up some wrap from amazon.com. I got some Avery wrap, which I want to try out. Heard this stuff is much better than the other stuff that I've used in the past. So I just got this gloss black Avery film. Want to see how that stuff works. I think I bought two 25 foot by one foot rolls. So that stuff should work well. As far as tools go, I got this little squeegee right here with the felt on it. I like using this one. I also like this kind of gummy one right here. This one seems to work really well uh, for doing vinyl and stickers and stuff like that. Then I have just the basic plastic one, which I don't use as much because that tends to leave scratches. Then I got my heat gun right here. Uh, this is just a Wagner heat gun and it does have temperature controls. So that is very nice. It's a little bit better than your normal one. Uh, I do like this. It also has like an auto cool down cycle. So when you set it down, you don't melt your freaking fingers off. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these grills apart. What's cool on the uh, F82, F80s, F30s, all that stuff, you see this two piece design right here. You kind of see how this clicks together right here. Well, this is the chrome piece. This can actually be removed from the black slot. And you might be saying, well, couldn't you just put the carbon fiber uh, pieces on there? You could, however, the design is a little bit different on the carbon fiber grills that I have. So I'm just gonna be rewrapping these. I kind of like the look of the uh, flat, or not flat black, but the gloss black look on there. I also did the side trim badges, uh, rocked the other style wrap. So I used this for a while, the 3M wrap, the series 1080 for a while. I've also used a uh, vivid wrap. So here's some like matte black vivid wrap and that stuff's not very good. Uh, this 3M is definitely a lot better and I'm excited to try out the uh, Avery Dimension stuff right here. So yeah, interesting. Uh, had a little bit of experience wrapping stuff not like I've wrapped a ton of things, but yeah, let's get down to it. Let's tear this apart and we'll get wrapping. Boom, see this piece comes apart and then you got the chrome here. So I'll do that to the other side as well. Um, and then I just merge this back together and then they're both nice and glossy black with the nice M logo on there. Uh, yeah, and I mean, you can actually buy these grills as well but you're looking at close to, I think it's something like 200 bucks. Um, and I think wrapping them is just, just fine. Uh, they look very good. If you get painted ones, you know, they'll get beat up as well from rocks and things like that. So, you know, if the wrap gets messed up, you can always just peel it off like I did on these already and you can just redo it. So, yeah. I had like one of the pieces just didn't look that amazing because it was the first time I wrapped this piece in a while and it was the first time I wrapped in a while and uh, one of the corners just had a little bit of some weird stuff going on but it actually really didn't look that bad. It was just kind of like if you were two inches away from the thing you could tell if you were three feet back it was not even noticeable. Just more so one of those things that you notice and no one else is going to notice. So. I wanted to fix it. I wanted to make it look a little better. Okay, those are apart now. I'm just gonna use some auto glass cleaner because I don't think that stuff has any sort of waxes in it, as far as I know. So I just kinda wanna get this wax free and just kinda shine it up. That way you don't have any bubbles. Anything, like if you have any nicks in it or anything like that, and anything you're ever trying to wrap, you want to make sure that you sand those down or whatever. I mean, if it's a chrome piece like this, you, sh you know, you shouldn't have any issues, but you know, if you have a weird looking 
nicked piece, it's been hit by a rock or something. If you want to sand it out, you definitely can. Um, and that's just going to make it look better in the end. So, yeah. Ideally, all you really need to do is just cut the piece large enough. You want it to go be bigger. And fresh little razor blade for me here. All right. What I like to do first is just do kind of a, uh, really just a dry fit, if you will. Just kind of get it on there. And don't use any heat. I like to just wrap it by hand, kind of using the triangle sort of technique. When you see some, see some looking, uh, some little fingers in there, you just kind of pull the other direction. Kind of just break it up. A lot of this thing you should be able to wrap without any heat. And you shouldn't need to stretch it that much either. Um, just using your fingers and that sort of thing, it usually works pretty dang good at the beginning. Um, and then later on, you can use some heat if necessary. But I like to just kind of start out and get it, just get the base going there, make it look, make it look good. dang good I think there are the corners a little edging As you can see there is like no sort of uh, wrinkles or anything like that it just looks really good so go on to the next one and literally once you kind of get that done so this is the left grill here but this just all snaps back together boom would you look at that that looks a whole hell of a lot better than this one here which is that nasty chrome there's the, the nice looking black nice corners and all that oh yeah 
easy. Let's finish this up. So this one went good as well, uh, came out really nice. So yeah, pretty much all wrapped up as you can see. Uh, I did like this Avery film better than the 3M film. It seemed to have like a better air release in my opinion. So that was very nice. Uh, the 3M film has a pretty good air release, but I did have, I had last time a little bit more issues with just like slight bubbles. Uh, this time I didn't even like use a squeegee or anything like that. I was actually just able to use my hands completely because um, those work very well and uh, you know every time I kind of did it uh, just laid it down without using any heat uh, got it tight cut it uh, sh stretched it a little bit in certain areas made sure I had a glassy area before I did any cuts that way the PVC material can return to its original form and it won't peel back so yeah stoked gonna slap these on the car and rock them for a while so Hope you guys like this little video. I know it's just kind of like a, I don't know, little breakdown. So let me know if you like that style. We will talk to you soon, later, and wrench on, guys.